Welcome back to part two of the Ultimate First Time Home Buyer's Guide 101 presented by me, Joe Majorana. I am an agent here in Boston Metro. And if you haven't seen the first video, be sure to check it out right here. To get you back up to speed, we already talked about finding your agent, getting pre-approved, setting your expectations for your wants and needs of buying a home. And now, after many weeks or weekends of searching for homes, you want to put in an offer. And before we get into that, make sure you hit subscribe, like this video. So I make these videos to help educate people on how to buy a home and real estate in general. If that is something that you're interested, make sure you hit subscribe. And if you're looking to buy a home in the Boston area, make sure you send me an email. Now you're at the part of your journey where you've seen many homes and you want to put in an offer. Joe, how much do we offer on this home? Almost everyone asks this question. So many factors go into this and this is why it's so important to have an agent whose boots on the ground knows what's happening in the area. How was activity at the open house? How long has the house been on the market? Do homes in this specific area usually go above or below ask? How much has two bedrooms in this area sold over the last three months? I myself enjoy crunching numbers trying to figure out what a fair offer is. And if this home is hot, we want to make sure we have a seat at the table for round two. What is round two? Round two happens for a hot home after all the offers are due. And the agents speak together to talk about other offers that are on the table and how your offer compares to the rest. Sometimes if your offer isn't even strong enough, you don't even get that call back. So you wanna know when you really have to put in a competitive offer. So with me, you'll get a range of prices that you should offer and an explanation to back it up. So however, Maybe you've been searching for homes for six months and been losing out multiple weeks in a row and you just want to win. And you tell me, Joe, this is the one. I want this one. I'm tired of seeing homes. I just want to move. Let's put in an offer of this much. That's totally fine. Sometimes personal value outweighs market value. And if that home has what you need and you're willing to go over market value just so that you can put your family in that home, that decision is totally up to you. Now, it's okay if you don't get the home on your first offer. Over the past year, we've seen that it may take three to four offers on three to four different homes until you get your offer accepted. So don't get discouraged if you don't get accepted on your first offer. And honestly, that's one less person you're gonna have to compete with in the future. So what typically goes into an offer? One, your offer price, which also includes your down payment, addendums and contingencies, as well as the deposit to bind your offer. Ultimately, you will tell your agent what you want to offer on the home. You will also have to determine which contingencies will come with your offer. For example, if you're using a mortgage, you will have a mortgage contingency. If you're gonna do an inspection, you will have an inspection contingency. With your offer and contingencies, you will also include a thousand dollar check to bind your offer. If your offer does not get accepted, this check does not get cashed or put into escrow. Okay, let's fast forward and say that your offer got accepted. Congratulations! After your offer gets accepted, things are going to move a lot faster. Now let's say your timeline to close on this house is 45 days. The average is around 30 to 45 days and you'll see 60 days to close. Closing periods can go past 60 days, 100, 120 days. It just all depends on the terms of the deal. But for this example, we're going to use 45 days to close. Okay, let's say that your offer was accepted on the first day of the month and you're going to be closing on the 15th day of the following month. The very first thing we're going to do once your offer gets accepted is schedule your inspection. That's assuming that you have an inspection. You need to get this in the books ASAP, probably the same day that you get accepted. This ensures that we get an inspection quickly and during your preferred time. You'll want to be present during the inspection. Now, your purchase and sale will typically happen seven to 10 days after your offer is accepted. Signing the purchase and sale is saying that you guys agree to the terms of the contract. This is also when you give your down payment. You want to schedule your inspection as soon as possible before the purchase and sale. I don't know anyone who can do inspections. It's okay, your agent should have a list of people that you can choose from. Okay, so your offer got accepted on the first of the month and your inspection is gonna be on the fourth of the month. Your purchase and sale is gonna happen on the 10th of the month. During this week and before your purchase and sale, this is when you're gonna actually apply for the loan. Remember when I told you to get pre-approved for the loan? Perfect, so we're already ahead of the game. So 
Now all you have to do is apply for the loan. So you will need to obtain this loan within about three weeks of your purchase and sale agreement. So three weeks after the 10th, you're supposed to have the loan. So after obtaining the loan, you're pretty much good to go from here. So your loan gets approved. You're gonna receive the terms of the loan and a bunch of documents explaining it. Most importantly, you're set to close on time. Okay, so closing day is gonna be on the 15th. Now the buyer and the seller meet on closing day and make sure you have your pen handy because you will be signing a lot of documents, mostly pertaining to the mortgage. Now these are documents that you already saw and read. Again, just making sure you understand the terms of the loan. So you will also bring a cashier's check or be able to transfer the out of pocket money uh, known as cash to close. And then the deed is transferred and you are officially a homeowner. And that's about it in a nutshell. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you need any help with real estate, especially in the Boston area, make sure you do send me an email. My name is Joe Majorana and I'll see you on the next video.